Good morning, good afternoon, good night, guys. What is up, it's Jojo, and this is our first official day in Tokyo, Japan. And of course, we have to go check out Tokyo Disneyland. I'm with Jeet. Howdy! Join us as we go to Tokyo Disneyland for the first time! Woo! Thumbs up this vid! You can take train or bus, but we're gonna take a taxi through the Uber app. It's about 3,000 yen. Okay. Good morning, and there's our Uber right here. Oh man, this is the first time I see in the city in the daytime. It's beautiful. This is a nice taxi. Dude, the seats are eating. Konnichiwa, future Jojo here narrating this whole Tokyo trip because so much stuff happens. I was shocked that I cried. Like, it wasn't in the plans. I wasn't trying to make an enticing title. After re-watching this whole vlog, I understand why it happened. And you will too, if you make it to the end of this video. By the way, our ticket costs 8,900 yen for today's visit to Tokyo Disney Resort. Hard to see, but they do have the purple signs, kind of like they do in Florida. That Uber is great. Jeet, we're here. We're here, dude. Right over there is the Tokyo Disney Hotel. Make sure you subscribe because we are doing a stay there, a character stay. Ooh. I'm not going to spoil which room it is though. <laughs> are you excited, bro? Am I excited? We're in Tokyo Disneyland. I'm like running around like a little kid. Look, it's the monorail. Ooh. Tokyo wow. Disney is that way. There's a lot of people walking in right now. Oh man. Ooh. Also, it's Chilling. breezy. It's, it's breezy right now. Uh, the park opens at 9. It's 9.50 right now. Correct. So we're good to go. Good morning, Tokyo. Disneyland, you have cast members greeting us right here. Wow, this hotel is huge. Security checkpoint ahead. Splash Mountain, Big Thumb and the Riverboat. And you got the Jungle Cruise. Right over here, you can see the entrance from the hotel that leads you straight to the park. Very nice. Gee, you hear that? <laughs> They're playing the Disney music. Dude, this is magical to me. This is actually magical for me. I'm getting shivers. <laughs> I'm genuinely so happy to be here. Tokyo Disneyland. Wow. Oh my gosh. I have no idea where this train station goes. Probably the Tokyo Disney Sea, but I love it. So elegant. The music. Everything makes me happy right now. Before we go any further, I just want to say I'm genuinely so happy to be here and I appreciate you guys for watching so much. I never thought I'd have the opportunity to go to Tokyo or Tokyo Disneyland and I'm already having a blast. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Let's get inside. Oh my gosh, see you on the other side, Jeet. Yeah. Thank you, we're going in. That's Minnie Mouse, not Mickey Mouse. Look at her, yeah, she has the bow on and everything. What do we do? Where do we go? There's so many options. All right, let's just like check out this area first. This is not Main Street, it's like the World Bazaar or something. They changed it up a little bit. Look at this, you got the confectionery right over here. Look at her cast member outfit. And she's a character attendant because Mickey Mouse is right over there. Oh my gosh, M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-C, it's Mickey Mouse. There's Roy and Minnie right there. Oh my God, what is happening? The World Bazaar, this ain't Main Street no more. No. Wow. Are you serious? Yo. Wow, there's the castle and it looks very similar. Oh my gosh, it really feels like a hustle and bustle city. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Us. Tokyo. Tokyo. No way. We got our first look at entertainment here. The bicycle piano? Wow. That's so cool. He's riding the bike and he's playing the piano. We got the Grand Emporium. Let's see if we can get Jeet a funny hat to keep him warm. It looks like the Emporium, but different at the same time. Holy moly, people are shopping already. They have an alien dude right here. People are buying him off the shelves, Baymax, ham. Yo, 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 yo. 
How do you feel? Yo, these are so comfy. You gotta try it on. <laughs> I mean, take me to your leader. If you're cold in Japan, this is the way to go. <laughs> 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 How's that look? <laughs> I'm shocked that there's so many people in the store this early in the morning. These are like the gold standard yes. right here. Everyone wants me to buy these. Tokyo Disney Resort. There's so much stuff I want to buy. This place goes hard. Now in all the hypeness, I've lost Jeet. Unlike Walt Disney World, when we were social distancing, there was tape and there was a lot of like strict enforcement on making sure you don't get too close here. There's no barricades or anything. It's just everyone kind of understands the rules. A dream is a wish your heart makes. Cinderella's <laughs> carriage. This is so odd. It's Cinderella's castle. It's very, very similar to Magic Kingdoms. Look at G taking pictures for the locals. The hub here at Tokyo Disneyland is massive. Disneyland's was tiny, Magic Kingdoms is big, we all know that, but this is huge, yo. They got their own bus too. It's coming out of Frontierland. Tokyo Disneyland transportation. That is so cool. Uh, Oh, it's singing in the thing. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's really cool. The backside of the castle. First attraction of Tokyo. Fairy Tale Hall. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I'm just biased because I'm here, but I feel like Tokyo's Cinderella Castle is better than Listen, I'm definitely biased. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> we are taking an elevator. Oh. Oh. You can see Cinderella's story. A new dress for Cinderella. I mean, we know the story of Cinderella, right? But it's cool to see it depicted this way. Awesome. Got her mouse friends over there. Lovely stained glass leading to the outside. It's Cinderella. This is when she has the old bippity boppity boo moment. There's the fairy godmother. Say it together bippity boppity boo. That's so sick. She has to leave. It's hit midnight. Oh, whoa. It's Gus Gus. Oh. The main ballroom maybe, or the throne room. It's huge in here, Cinderella's castle's it. Got like a little picture spot, chandelier. People go to Disney to take pictures, so they have like taken full advantage of that. There's tons of picture spots here. Yes. Tons. That's why we got that right there. It sparkles and everything when you sit in it. And of course, the glass slipper. I have no idea about anything Tokyo Disneyland. I like being surprised. Even if that means I lose out on like fast pass or there's things I don't realize and I miss on my vacation. It's something special about just walking around and not knowing what to expect, you know? It's an adventure, man. You get to see it through our eyes. We're actually on Cinderella's castle. This is nuts, man. Never in my life I would have thought. Life like this sure is sweet, huh? Sure is sweet, huh? Yeah, yes indeed. Wow. I got the whole fantasy land right here. They also have a gift store in the castle as well. They do the torch blowing business in here instead. So freaking cool how like everything is the same but different. Welcome to Fantasyland. You got the carousel playing iconic music. You got filler magic in the distance. Snow White's adventure. 
popcorn stand right here. Apparently they got some crazy flavors and people want it because there's a line that goes around town. Funny enough, they call it Alice's Tea Party here. Queen of Hearts Banquet Hall. There was one change, however, that I didn't like in Tokyo Disneyland and you know, I'll just show you. I flew all the way out to Tokyo Disneyland to pull the sword from the stone. I can't do it in Florida, so maybe I can do it. What? Where, where, where's the sword? Did they move it? Like, Did you not know there's, there's not a sword here? 14 hour flight and you tell me now? Whoa. We turned the corner. That's Belle and Beast's castle. Holy moly, the forced perspective. That was so crazy. I think behind us at the Belle's house, because right over here, you know how in Magic Kingdom we had that one little corner, Gaston's oh, Tavern? Whoa. This whole area is themed the bell with her castle in the distance as a main attraction. Did you know that? Wait, Their newest cool. ride is here. You go into Belle's Castle, it's not a restaurant. It's a ride? Yeah, it's really, really cool. Our mind's gonna be blown. Enchanted Tale of Beauty and the Beast. This is the standby entrance. So we are doing the Fast Pass. As you see, there's two experiences you can pick from. Happy Ride with Baymax, which is basically Alien Swirling Saucers, or Enchanted Tale of Beauty and the Beast. 2,000 yen per person, about 20 bucks to ride one ride. There we go, Enchanted Tale of Beauty and the Beast, 1630 to 1730. Our first meal of the day is not a meal, it's a snack. They have apple caramel churros. Our first Disney snack. I'm excited. Just gonna take a bite. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, good catch. What do you think? Oh my god. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. I'm not even trying to be dramatic. Not only do these smell good, but they taste delicious. This is so good. <laughs> We're just hungry and the line didn't seem too long, so we're gonna eat at Gaston's Tavern. It honestly just feels good to be inside. So they actually have like lunch sets here. We got the fries, the hunter's pie, and the beer. This is nuts. I am excited. G, what did you get? I got the French toast. It kind of makes sense that they serve beer at Gaston's Tavern, don't you think? Right, let's try it. It's in a plastic cup. Kind of tastes like a little better Bud Light. Mm. But this is the first time in a long time where I'm just having a full park day with no expectations, no content to really hit other than maybe the new bell ride. And it's awesome. Like the fact that we've just been sitting here for like over 30 minutes now. I don't get this feeling a lot. I, I feel like I'm a guest today. I don't feel like I'm a content creator. I just feel like, you know? Stop the smell of roses. Did you do that because bell? I'm glad you up on that. That was good, that was good. Jeets made a really good point. The attention to detail here is crazy. Like, look, it's Gaston, they're playing darts. He won everything, LeFou. He won a couple times. If you didn't figure it out by now, Tokyo Disneyland is very similar to Disney World's Magic Kingdom. So drinking a beer on property almost felt like breaking a law. But if you guys didn't know, Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea aren't actually owned by the Walt Disney Company. So. It makes sense that they're selling alcohol in a place that normally they don't sell alcohol. Arrows in the ceiling missing the mark. Someone got someone's hat. Are you joking? I didn't even know this was here. Do you feel like Gaston? Me and Gaston are actually twins. Oh. I don't know if you knew that or not. I, I didn't. Anyway, this whole area is sick. We are learning so much. This is all sitting area. <laughs> Basically, the park and cast members are actually enforcing sitting areas and then standing areas. And then, I like it. Me too. And then five minutes before the parade starts to standing people, they move up. So the other day I was asking Gabby about like, what's the biggest thing she's learned about being in Tokyo. She said that people are very orderly. I didn't know what she meant. She basically means like, it's not like everyone trying to like rush in and like, uh, be the first person into the train. They're expecting I like it, man. I like it here. I literally feel like a little kid. I hear the music in the distance and I keep looking to see when I can see all the floats coming. Oh, she's hyping us up. <laughs> well, everyone, I don't get to say this often, but enjoy 
this parade that we've never seen before. It's called Dreaming Up and it's going away in <laughs> April for a new parade. So I'm glad it's we're here to away. see it. And dream up. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. section now starting with Minnie. It's the creepy fairy godmother. It's okay, I still like her though. I know Tigger very, very well. I would have loved to do this with him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's Donald on the magic carpet! Oh my god! <laughs> Awesome. I pray it was incredible. Like the music is what really got me. It was like traditional music all sped up. Well, I, I kept high hearing energy. music from Happily Ever After that I haven't heard in years. Really? Yeah. I did feel. I, I heard like little undertones of, of their voices from Happily Ever After and stuff. So that was that was great. I don't know if it was my favorite parade, but I mean, all of the I mean, all all of the floats were absolutely amazing. Seeing all of these people from a whole different world clapping and enjoying this moment together, watching all the characters, Mickey just truly live out their own dreams, really hit me hard because here I was in a whole different country, watching this amazing parade and just experiencing a whole new culture. It was and has been a dream of mine for a while now and the fact that I was living it really just hit me in the heart and <laughs> I've had some time to calm down about it so I'm not crying right now but sincerely as I said in the beginning of this video guys thank you so much for watching these videos and I really hope all of your dreams come true no matter if they're small big just don't give up 
you know i as someone who came from a place of depression back in college i didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel at times and now i was doing that i was here and i, I make this video not only to show you my experience but to tell you guys that every day is a blessed day to be alive and even if it's rough it will get better and there's so much more that happens today our dream was to come here and we fulfilled it by watching their dreams ah so cool. You know what our next dream is? What? A million views on this? I was gonna say Paris, but that too. Paris works, yeah, we'll do that too. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. And the next one will come out tomorrow and we go on some awesome rides. And I think I find my newest favoritist ride. That's not a word, but you get the point. Remember guys, every day is a blessed day to be alive. And I'll see you in the next one. Tokyo Disneyland so far has been mwah, chef's kiss. I don't know if they intended for this. They probably did, but when the sun's hitting these little structures right here, it makes these awesome hidden Mickeys.